guys and girls on Ash Japanese from the concrete jungle of Tokyo. We're bringing you breaking news. Breaking news that Japan made today, and they're kind of the type of only in Japan news. So let's go and find out what they are. Let's go. Ah! Ati-san. This April in Japan, actually, I'm an alien. <laughs> April this year, 2021, in Japan, a 39 year old man was arrested on the prospect of fraud because he got about one thousand US dollars from three different girls for his birthday money. Remember how I mentioned to you guys that women in Japan often date with marriage in mind and the older they get the more urgent that topic becomes. Now this guy was 39, right? He was actually dating them and pretended that he had in mind uh, that they were gonna marry fairly soon. And of course, the birthday dates he gave to all three of them were all different birthday dates. And, you know, so pretty much taking advantage of women in their late 30s, beginning 40s, who are desperate to get married, really looking for a partner. He might have been very handsome and charming, we don't know quite, but there's one more thing that we found out is that this guy didn't have three girlfriends at the same time. He had 35. Now, Japanese people seem to marry in their 20s, so when a lady is in their 40s or not married yet, she has a lot of pressure of her family to marry, right? So a lady who was already way in her 40s met the gentleman. He, she said he was handsome and he seemed to be a successful businessman. My darling, we shall be forever together. Oh, you're my, my heart belongs for you forever. You're so wonderful. We shall do everything together, he said to her. Probably without the accent, I'm sorry. So they started dating for around 10 months. I have no idea how you managed to juggle all those ladies at the same time. But for 10 months, they were juggling, well, dating. And even after two months already, he mentioned that he had a business and he needed money for his business which was like in the water industry and you needed shower heads and kind of all kinds of things for like bath stuff, hydrogen, whatever. He needed some items. So she lent him money of the value of a thousand eight hundred US dollars, thinking they would be investing in their future business together because they were going to get married, right? And she needed to help him start up his company. Well, another thing that was pretty weird with their dating or courting as such is that they only met twice a month and then only for a few hours. So even after a while, even she was like, and this is kind of weird. And then she Googled him and then she found out that he's known for fraud. And there's a lot of other ladies like her. How did the lady meet the guy initially? It was on a dating app. And guess what? Over the dating app, he also had contact with in total 35 ladies done the same way of fruit, approach, the same words, <laughs> the same presence even, send the exact same thing. And the reason why he only met with them so short during one day is because he met several girls in one day to make sure he gets the maximum benefit out of them. That guy is trash. He's trash. Trash. That guy is trash. Trashier than this trash. So instead of having found a handsome, attractive, successful businessman, they all had found themselves a love and marriage fraud cheater uh, what's the word for it a fraud a frauder a trickster trickster loki he did get arrested in the end he was trying to run away but they got him because he ran like a cheater because he's a cheater but did you get that so the police in the end actually captured him and he being he became known as the 35 love fraud cheater whatever 35 girlfriends 35 i can't even get one question is if that guy was so good at sweet talking 35 girls to be his girlfriend at the same time shouldn't he have been actually an awesome salesman maybe she sh he should have sold his bathroom stuff because let's be honest if he can sweet talk 35 people like that he might have been an awesome salesman Did you just <laughs> oh, 
topic number two, and that happened in 2020, and it's really difficult to get your head around this one. It's a real tricky one. Are you ready for it? Prepare your brain. This is going to be mind boozling In 2020, a guy and girl who was a couple in their 20s stole 34 items of female underwear from a 37-year-old guy. What? The couple admitted to the theft that they actually stole and the police found over 170 items of, 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 of underwear in their flat. So they're get, get having the suspicions of having stolen more from other people all around. And they're still trying to figure out what's happening with that. But why did that couple need these underwear so desperately? And why did a 70 year old guy have female underwear in his house? <sighs> Oh, Mickey, 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 that's get the safe, Mickey. So welcome back to the official place where we're gonna launch one more of these Japanese news to you. And the next one is about chicken, fried chicken. Karage is the Japanese word for fried chicken and there are different types of karage. There's apparently even a karage association. There is loads of karage love out here and as you know around Christmas everyone in Japan goes and has fried chicken also for their Christmas meal. Now this time we're going to talk about karage that you can get from a convenience store because convenience stores have a lot of different karage types. Lawson Family Mart, now 7-Eleven. Mini Mini, they all have their own style of fried chicken. And this one, one of them is part of crime. A 29 year old guy here in Japan got arrested for stalking his girlfriend. And one of the things he did to harass her was posting fried chicken through her post box. What? I am sure that wasn't the only thing he was doing because in order to get arrested for stalking in Japan, you have to do a lot of things. But that's the one that apparently what got picked up by the news in Japan that he posted fried chicken through her door slip and they in the end actually caught him. Usually victims have to move out or away, but in this case, he actually got arrested for the karage crime. Crispy fried chicken, garlic fried chicken. We're gonna go and get some crime-free karage chicken at the convenience store now. Oh, I got the director's wallet. <laughs> Crime-free company reimbursed karage. Let's go. Karage no kushi hitatsu wa kudasai. Oshikarai honbo o erabi kudasai. Ah, genki desu ne? Genki mo irete kudasai. Ah, kikai desu ne, sugoi desu ne. Resito o oketori kudasai. Otori basure ni go chui kudasai. Arigato gozaimasu. Right, I have personally Never posted karage. Ooh, look at that. That looks nice. It's crunchy. Mmm. I have personally never posted fried chicken through people's post bookers, but I did actually post pancakes with a message through people's door slips at university and if they found out who posted the pancake I offered them a real pancake in exchange that that crime is actually on camera and that's on my YouTube channel from when I was still in university that's yeah I did that that video is still somewhere I think anyways so guys uh, <laughs> those were a couple of weird things that made the news 2020 and 2021 here in Japan if there's other kind of crazy news that you picked up that from Japan let us know in the comments down below and we are looking forward to reading them. I was gonna almost be eating them because I still want to finish that karage up there. But yes, I wish you a great day. I'll catch you soon for more stuff here from Japan. Don't forget to subscribe for that and I'll catch you soon. Thank you, bye. 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 Bye.